mistake. Let's percentify it. Home tab, number group, percentify. And we get something slightly different because it's right on the line there of the 79. If I double clicked on this one and I changed this to this minus 0.1 or 0.1, right? Then I get a little bit closer, but I'm going to keep it where it is because what I would like to do now is to practice plotting another graph like that. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to make another column and I'm going to make it dynamic by picking up this here. So now this is going to be P of X uh, is uh, less than or equal to, in this case, 79. And of course, again, we can change it by changing this dynamic field, but I'll keep it there for now. Let's make this black and white. So I'm gonna go font tab, black and white, and let's then uh, center it. And so, so now I, I actually wanna see it on a different graph this time. So I'm gonna actually pick up another graph and let's start at our same starting point. I'm gonna pick up the P of X and shift up so I don't pick up the 100 insert it's an area graph charts drop down i'm going to pick up an area graph down here that's the one and then i'm going to delete the title of it and let's build this in the same format so i'm going to adjust the x's so i'm going to go to the chart data data select and choose the edit I'm going to replace the X's over here with my X's. Control shift down, shift up to not pick up the total. Okay, there they are. That looks good. So I'm going to say, okay. Then I'm going to add this column this time. So I'm going to put my cursor here. I'm going to go chart design, data. And then I'm going to say select data. Let's go to then the add. So I'm going to add data. The series is going to be this name remove this stuff down here and i'm going to click on this little icon put my cursor up top so i can make it dynamic picking up the whole column Control shift down and uh, uh let's hold on a second it uh, went too far you've gone too far what are you doing well hold on i don't have anything in here yet i can't do it so i'm going to select the data <laughs> and then i'll set enter and then i'll say okay Nothing's there yet because I haven't added the data, which would be useful. So I'm going to say, okay, what am I going to do to get the data? I'm going to say using our logic test again, because I want to pick everything that is going to be less than the 79. So this time we want to say less than and including. So I'm going to be picking this one up. You can see that's where kind of the uh, overlap is. So we're going to take uh, that up to there. So you would think it would be like this amount. Uh, 99.44 if I was to add it up that way it doesn't tie out to these numbers over here because the area under the curve so this is going to be equals if brackets and I'm going to say if this number is less than or equal to this 79 this number then comma what do you want you to do? I want you to pick up this number then, the related percentage. But if not, comma, that's what the comma means, I want you to leave it blank, double quotes to leave it blank. Closing up the brackets and enter. So it puts that in there. I'm gonna percentify it, home tab, number group, percentify, adding some decimals, double clicking on the fill handle, to bring it down. It doesn't work because I didn't do some absolute references. Double clicking on it again, everything that's outside of my area of work, this number in particular, uh, D15, I need to make absolute, put in my cursor D15, F4 on the keyboard, dollar sign before the D and the 15, enter. Let's try it again, put my cursor on it, double click and taking it down. So there it is. So now you can see it brought it down. It gives you this little tweak down here so you can see it's quite small on the upper end because we don't have a whole lot of data, but you get the idea. I can make this, uh, let's make this something different now. Let's make it 76. So now the orange area represents this. I can add the legend plus button and say I want the legend and boom. So now we have that there. And so, so now we have that as a dynamic and the orange is representing this column. So we can also add the Z score, of course, too. So I could say, 
Let's double click on this secondary access and then close this up, delete this stuff, don't need it. And then in my data up top, I wanna go to the second bit and now delete this or change it to be picking up my Z scores and okay and boom and bam and now i need to hit the plus button and axes add the secondary axis and there it is plus to get it off of that again turn that off and then double click on this bit i'm going to bring it to the bottom under the labels and then bring it down to the bottom por favor if you please and then lower it and boom so we can do that so now we've got that graph. Now the last one you might say, okay, well, what if I, what if I want a between graph? So there's a couple different ways we could do it. But if I'm gonna ask a question, what if it's between this or that, right? I'm gonna bring this one down here. Okay, well then we can do another, we can do another one if we wanted to. And say, I'm gonna make one where it's going, where I have, let's say a lower, and an upper to get between, right? So now I'm gonna say something like uh, P of X. And I like to do it this way. This is probably not the best way to write it, but I say I like to say that X is gonna be greater than or equal to, let's, let's say it's gonna be greater than equal to 72 and uh, 72 and uh, less than, less than or equal to 79, something like that. I'll make this a little bit larger. So that might not be the most perfect way to write it, but that's what kind of makes sense to me, right? So it's going to be between uh, 72 and 79, including 72 and 79. So I'm going to say the lower bit is 72. Upper bit is going to be 79 is the, is the point. If I want this to be my title up top, I want to make it dynamic so I can change the lower and upper. Double clicking on this, I'm going to say equals quotes from all the way from here to here. I want to be text. So quotes, and then I'm going to say and, an and to tie it together. I'm going to select the 72 and pick it up from here. So it picks up that cell. And then this and I want to be text. So I need another and. And, and then I'm going to tie it to the text quote of the and. So one and is, is code and the other and is text. So I'm going to tie it to and. Uh, uh, actually, the, I want the and all the way over to this end quote as text. And then another and to tie it to the 79, which I want to be referenced not as a hard-coded number, but this upper cell. And then I also want to tie that to with another and, and then quotes around the last bit of text, which is closing up the brackets. So that's awfully kind of confusing looking, but it works beautifully. And if you do it a few times, it kind of, uh, you kind of get, you kind of get the hang of it, right? So if I was going to do that with a, with a, a calculation here, it would look something like this. We'd have to say, I'm, I've got to make, I've got to take everything up to the upper limit minus everything up to the, to the lower limit. And so I'm going to say this equals norm dot dist and the X is going to be on the upper 